Welcome to Let's Fly VFR. Today we're off to a Barossa Air Show. Since we can't have any air shows during this period of time, we're going to do our own. And remember to subscribe, like, and hit that share button for me. And we got a passenger today in the Zil 142. Got some aircraft flying around, and this is an, an airport that I've built from scratch. There was absolutely nothing here, so we've got everything here, including the runway. All the items you can see around are all done in wood, and it took me about an hour. So if you're looking to create airports, please have a look at the wood tutorials that I'm putting together for you, and you'll be able to create your own airports and have a bit of fun like this. So this is in the Barossa Valley in South Australia, and it is about 30 minutes from my home. As you can see, I've got a bit of Zoom Level 19 uh, scenery around here so the ortho scenery and we've set up the airport and you can see there's aircraft flying down there there's some flyby aircraft have a, a range of those flying around there's one up in the sky you can see there just a little dot and a couple flying in formation there below me you probably won't catch them because they're way too quick as we head in over we've got a uh, Lancaster and a Halifax sitting there on the on the side there for everyone to have a look at and a couple of F4s, don't know how the F4s actually made it to land it there but now I did try and catch up to these two but they were just too quick so around we go again coming back for another pass at the air show now we're just doing a couple of passes, a bit of a flyby more. this is just so you can see uh, how it looks from the air and this Zeal 142 is really a great deal of fun to fly you can get it, it is a freebie at the Orc. And there we go, we've got a Mr. Schmidt 110, I think that is, zipping past the other way. A whole lot of aircraft down there, we've got caravans, everyone's camping. We've got a whole lot of trees there. Bit of an aileron roll as we head out, a couple of F4s now. Maybe you can work out how they got there, I don't know. Now we're going to try and catch up to this biplane at some stage, see if we can't catch up with him. We'll get the nose up and we'll uh, turn right, follow him around. Uh, wasn't good enough, I wasn't fast enough to get there. So around we go again. Heading back to the air show. Now this airport uh, will be available along with Gawler. Uh, once I get the downloads page sorted out at letsflyvfr.com Trying to make that easy for everyone. I might just have a South Australian pack and you can just download all of them, but this one is actually attached to it because I wasn't sure how to start a new airport from scratch something I'm still working out with WED but I've got to tell you it is a real pleasure using WED I'm a little bit annoyed having watched lots of other people's uh, tutorials that scared the hell out of me initially about setting it up and all these angles and runways and finding out all this information when actually it's just so damn simple I'll low pass as we go through here try not to hit the, the windsock Got all the people, they're all 3D people as well. We'll go and visit them in a minute when we get the aircraft back on the ground. Nose up. Doesn't look good from up here. So we'll start down, I think. We might even bring this in for a landing very soon and then we'll have a bit of a wander around at the air show ourselves. One of the great things you can do pretty easily in VR. This Zeal 142 looks magnificent in VR. Even the, uh, oh, we got a loop up and over the top. Got an aircraft over there, so watch out for the traffic. i got a biplane here, which is flying past. Got to get my um, formation flying worked out because I was pretty hopeless at it. Either couldn't keep up or I passed him. Okay, let's turn around and uh, come in and do a landing at Barossa Airshow. This airshow is normally on uh, biannually with all the COVID stuff. I don't know if it was actually due this year but it should be, uh, it's always a really big day. It's really worth getting there for it. You can fly out, you can fly and land or you can just drive out if you're a little bit more a local. Here we go. I get touched down nice and smooth and this runway undulates which is really good. I get the brakes on. 
It is a pretty short strip too. Never actually got a chance to land here for real. One opportunity I was going to bring Jabiru out. Uh, we rang the owner because it's a private strip. And he informed us that it was um, a little bit too damp. We had a Cessna 172 leave a, uh, a couple of long skids, long skids in the runway because it was too soft. So uh, we avoided doing it that particular day. Went flying somewhere else. So here we go, around, off the grass strip, back down the taxiway. Whole range of aircraft. You know the fences and everything. Everything you see here is uh, you can create in wed. It's just simple click and place, rotate. Here we go, we've got the Messerschmitt going past again. And another little toy that uh, you will probably not be aware of is uh, the new RTX Voice, which uses the uh, normally unused cores within an RTX graphics card and uh, determines what my voice is and what background noise is and cuts everything out. I've got music playing in the background and all sorts of things happening around me at the moment and uh, I doubt you'll hear any of it, which is uh, just amazing. So here we go, we're going to come and park here next to these uh, couple of aircraft and then we'll take a bit of a walk around ourselves and have a look and see what's, what's to see at this uh, great little airport. Normally this uh, has just got the solid buildings that you see there. Uh, not normally fencing, but there's normally some, something here on a display day. So we'll open up the canopy and move on out. Don't we look handsome back in there? Now I'm not sure who the pilot's supposed to be with the red hair, but you could probably have a bit of a guess. Now, lots of people around, lots of 3D people. It's just a matter of finding what you want in different libraries. They give it a little bit of life. Got the chairs out there, put all the trees around, tables. They're not very animated, unfortunately. The truck is. The police got the lights flashing there. We'll go ahead and see the kids playing in the park. Cars all, all parked around the place. Ducked over, have a look at the F4s on display. And, and this gives you a bit of an idea in 3D because this shows you... Now, I'm standing at a, a normal height and this shows you how big the um, aircraft are. And I'm standing there looking right up at them in VR. I like I haven't placed myself on the ground. I'm at full standing height as we get back to the zone. So I hope you enjoyed that little look around, a bit of a fly, a bit of a look at what is possible in only a very short period of time uh, if you want to start building airports for yourself in WED so if you that's an interest you have I highly recommend you give it a go because it is a hell of a lot of fun and this is how we get around in VR just using the little controller and just point it where you want to go and then you can rotate it around and the red arrow shows which way you'll be looking once you release it so we have a few people over the fence and uh, we're ready to go I hope you enjoyed that little little tour. Remember to come and visit letsflybfr.com and I will catch you back here for another video somewhere in the very near future. Catch you then. Just enjoy the last bit as we pack up. Close the canopy. <laughs> Look at the detail there. It's really good. wasn't able to move the uh, that blind but you can move everything else or anything that turns green guys you can grab and move I tried to move this mirror around but I couldn't get it to do what I wanted it to do <laughs> just moving it around yeah I'm trying to get it over so I could look backwards but it wasn't happening Remember, subscribe, like, and I will catch you back at Let's Fly VFR for another Barossa Air Show or other video. Catch you then. Bye-bye.